Hey everyone, it's Lisa Mears. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm back again with another craft video for the holidays. I want to share with you how I made these adorable holiday envelope treat holders. You can actually fit a Ghirardelli chocolate inside and these are made with an envelope die. They are so stinking cute, perfect for holiday gift giving. You can actually give these any time of year. It doesn't need to be just for Christmas time. You can give these for Valentine's Day. You can give these for thinking of you. You can give these for teacher gifts. Perfect when you just want to let someone know you're thinking of them. So before I get started showing you how I made these envelopes, I want to let you know that all product links will be down in the description box. So if you want to see a closer look to any of the products that I share with you today, head on down to the description box or my blog at lisamearsdesigns.com. So I'm using these scrapbook.com mini envelopes two dies. They come with two size envelopes, the larger envelope measures 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches when it is folded and here's what it looks like when it's folded so you can see it does make a perfect square and you can stick any kind of treats in there you can stick ephemera in there or just little notes that you want to share with your friends or loved ones and here's the small envelope what it looks like folded this one measures 1.2 inches by 2.2 inches isn't that cute? Okay, so the stamp set that I'm going to be incorporating with my treat holders today is called the Stamping Village Holiday Seals. And there are all these circle stamps. This stamp set is unique because all of these seals or these stamps were created by different stamp companies. So you've got, for example, this one is Lawn Fawn. There is Pink Fresh Studio. There is Waffle Flower, Gina K Designs, Pink and Main, and many more. So you can see all of the seals. These are actually circles, and they're about one and three quarter inches and each one of these circles has a beautiful Christmas or winter themed stamp inside. So I thought these would be perfect for my envelope treat holders. The paper pad that I'm going to be using is the Sunny Studio Holiday Cheer 6x6 paper pad. I'm not going to go through it because I don't have full sheets. If you want to see the actual paper pad in detail, I do have a video which I will link below where I used it to make mini coffee cup holders. And in that video, I do do a flip through of this paper pad. You will also need some Ghirardelli chocolates. So they're perfect size for the envelopes, square, and they will fit right inside of those envelopes perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these stamps and I'm gonna stamp them out onto some Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth cardstock. I'm just going to lay the entire sheet of stamps on the door of the Misty and I'm just gonna use some washi tape to hold it down. This way I can just stamp all of those stamps at one time. So I'm gonna ink these up with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I am going to use my Copic markers to color. And once I have those stamped out, I'm going to take a 1 and 5 8 inch stitch circle and I'm going to die cut them out. So here is a cute little penguin holding a candy cane. Also has a Santa hat on and he's in the snow. It says Sweet Holiday wishes. I'm going to color them up. This actually was one that was designed by Art Impressions. I am going to color it up with some of my C markers. I have C7, C8, and C9 and I'm just trying to put some shadows in there, some dark shadows, and then some light, lighter colors there in the middle. And for my oranges, I'm going to use the YR18 for the bottom of the feet as well as for the nose and then I also have the reds I have R27 for the red and then for the green I'm going to be using the YG17 and YG13. I will have all of these colors listed down in the description box for all of the colors that I use. So here for the pink for the hat I'm using the RV23 and RV25 and 
I'm going to color around the penguin above the snowy hill. I'm going to put some blue in there for the sky and that is going to be the B04, B02, and B01. So I'm just going to color all around just to create a little bit of a blue sky around that penguin. So here is a hot chocolate stamp. I'm using all of the same colors. I didn't want to um, use any other different colors because I'm using the same paper pad and all of the colors I used with the first stamp, they all match the uh, papers that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna use the same colors throughout. This stamp was created by Pink and Maine. It is a hot chocolate mug. It has these cute little Christmas trees on the mug and all of that whipped cream coming out. And it says warmest wishes. So I'm coloring the mug up in some pinks. The Christmas trees are green. I'm gonna bring in some grays just to put some shadow there on the whipped cream. And I'm also going to color the stripes in that background with some red because I thought the red would look cute just because those stripes reminded me of candy canes. So I'm just going to color those up rather than leaving them white. And I'm also going to come in and color around that circle. I wanted to finish up the coloring and just add some more accents there around. So I'm just taking one of my blue markers and just coloring around it. And then the last one that I'm going to color is this reindeer. And for the reindeer, I am going to be using some of my brown colors. So I will be using the E's. I have E of 51 and 53 and I'm also going to be using E23, 25, and 27. So again all those colors will be down in the description box below. So just coloring up the reindeer. Notice how cute this reindeer is. It has some Christmas lights um, intertwined around the antlers. This stamp was designed by Lawn Fawn and it says Happy Holidays. I do give this one just a little bit of blue there in the background just to create a little bit of a blue sky to add more color rather than keeping it all white. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to take the largest envelope die and I'm going to die cut some pattern paper. Make sure when you're using pattern paper that you do have your patterns the right way before you die cut. And this envelope die puts all of the score lines in, so all you have to do is fold up the score lines and before you glue it together, I do suggest putting your chocolate inside the envelope because that chocolate is not flat. It's a little bit thick, you want to go ahead and glue your envelope together with the chocolate inside because you can see you have a little bit of a dome effect going on now, but there's plenty of room for that chocolate to be inserted. If you glue your envelope together flat without the chocolate in the middle, you might not have enough room to insert that chocolate once the envelope is glued together. So that's my tip to you. Put the chocolate in as you glue all of those flaps down. So now we have our envelope and do not glue the top. We're gonna leave the top open and the chocolate will be hanging out from the top so you'll be able to see a little bit of it, of that chocolate there at the top. And then I'm gonna lay that envelope so that the open side is face up. I'm going to put a piece of ribbon along the back side and notice I'm just using some double sided adhesive tape along the edges of the ribbon wrapping it around that envelope. I did use a scallop circle die, die cut that out of pink, same color as the ribbon and then I'm just going to layer on my circle with my stamped image right on top of the scallop and then I'll go ahead and add my um, stamped image right to the front. Isn't that adorable? So once again, these would be perfect if you need to give gifts to coworkers, teachers, or just anyone to let them know you're thinking of them. So once again, all product links will be down in the description box and on my blog. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear them. So thanks so much for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye-bye.